Now, I was doing Amy Goodman's show all night long, or as we like to say, the wake. Because um, you had all these progressive commentators, and they're all talking about the politics of the moment. And everybody kind of waltzed in and was like, I think, you know, pretty sure Hillary Clinton's going to win this thing. And then you saw that, that long night where people started to realize, I don't think that's going to work that way. Yeah. Now, it was, it was a tough night for a lot of people. I don't care. I, I had written an article in February last year that said Donald Trump could win. Now, I, of course, talked myself out of it. Right. But I was not as shocked as some people, and, and, but I was still surprised, and it was still painful, because I like to feel superior, right? <laughs> I, you know, I, and so I, I was unhappy that Hillary Clinton had lost. I thought that was probably bad for the country. But then my longtime acquaintance in Wisconsin, Russ Feingold, lost in the Senate race there, and I couldn't even feel superior, because I couldn't say, well, at least we elected Russ Feingold. And then I looked across the country, and there were all sorts of people that got defeated who should have won, like Zephyr Teachout up in New York, one of the great anti-monopoly, anti-corporate people. And I'm looking at all this, and I'm like, this is really the worst night ever. Maybe. And then I got a tweet <laughs> from Tucson, Arizona, from Pam, saying that she and several other people had been elected to the legislature and it just struck me that if Pam Powers Hanley is in the state legislature in Arizona, somehow everything is going to be okay. <laughs> and amazingly enough, she's not up here taking the bow because even though she's in the legislature, she remains a grassroots activist over there making the video. That's right. An amazing man. person and somebody who we really cherish. And if Phil isn't our candidate for governor, then I guess it's you. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so,